The bill for dinner after tax was $85.20. You decide to leave a 15% tip, calculate the total amount paid. We'll solve this problem using two different methods. For the first method, we'll determine the tip amount and then add it to the bill to determine the total amount paid. So to begin by determining the tip amount, we want to answer the question, what is 15% of $85.20? Again, once we find the tip amount, we'll have to add it to the bill amount to find the total amount paid. So if we want to answer this question using a percent equation, for review, we use the keyword shown here below, or if we see the word what or what number, this represents the unknown. So we write down the variable, is means equals, and of means multiply. So notice how the first word we see is what, which represents the unknown. So let's use t for the tip amount. And then we have is, which means equals. We want to write the percent as a decimal. 15% as a decimal is equal to 0 0.15. And then we have of $85.20. So we're going to multiply by $85.20, or 85.20. So notice how to find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. So now going to our calculator, 0 0.15 times 85.2, if we want 0 0.20, is equal to 12.78. So this tells us that the tip amount is $12.78. And now that we know the tip amount, we can find the total amount paid. The total amount paid is going to be the bill amount of $85.20 plus the tip amount of $12.78, which equals $97.98. So this is the answer to the question, but let's also solve this a different way. If we want to determine the total amount paid, we know we're going to pay 100% of the bill, and then we're going to add 15% for the tip. So if we're going to pay 100% plus 15%, notice how this sum is 115%. So we'll end up paying 115% of the bill amount of $85.20. So to answer this question in one step rather than two, we could pose the question, what is 115% of $85.20? So again, writing a percent equation, the first word we see is what, which represents the unknown. This time let's use the variable A for the total amount paid. And then we have is, which means equals. 115% as a decimal would be 1.15. And again, we have of $85.20, so we're going to multiply by 85.2, if we want 0 0.20. And let's go back to the calculator one more time to verify. This will give us the total amount paid of $97.98. So 1.15 times eighty five point two zero or just point two if we want does give us a total amount paid in one step of ninety seven dollars and ninety eight cents so again using this method we're able to determine the total amount paid once again is ninety seven dollars and ninety eight cents but using the second method we're able to determine the final answer in one step rather than two. But of course, both methods are valid. I hope you found this helpful.